That's my daughter. Welcome to episode two of A Story and a Song. Today we're going to talk about my song, The Word Became Flesh. So last year, the former pastor of my church asked me if I would write a song for a big Christmas program that he organizes every year. And I told him I would do it, and this was sometime in October. And time went by, and we got very near to the, to the date of the program, and I still hadn't come up with anything. But finally, Wednesday night, I got an idea um, that I was excited about. Started writing on Thursday, finished writing on Friday, and the program was that Saturday night. And I performed the song for the first time at this Christmas program. And then, uh, the Monday right after that, I went to the studio and recorded the song for the album that I released this year, Things New and Old. John chapter 1, verse 1 says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through Him, and without Him nothing was made that was made. And so here you have the Word, the second person of the Godhead, the Son of God. And the Bible says, in the beginning was the Word. God does not have a beginning point. God does not have an origin story, so to speak. The Bible just says he was in the beginning. And that's in contrast to everything else in the universe. Everything else that you've ever seen or heard or tasted or touched or smelled, it all comes from somewhere. It has an origin. And if you had the knowledge, if you had the information, you could pick anything and you could trace it back to where it came from. And so you kind of have this chain or, or a web uh, really of cause and effect. You can trace anything back from one thing to another and ultimately you come to God who is the first link in the chain and there's nothing else behind him. Um, but then you jump down to verse 14 and you read these words, the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And this idea to me is really incredible especially when you contrast it with the first part of, of John chapter 1. The Word was in the beginning, and then the Word became flesh. Luke's genealogy of Jesus is exciting because it starts with Jesus, who was the son of Joseph, who was the son of Heli, and then it goes on and on and on, the son of so-and-so, the son of so-and-so, the son of so-and-so, the son of so-and-so. And you finally get to Seth, who was the son of Adam, who was the son of God. In Jesus, you have this incredible thing happening where the first cause, the creator of all things, the self-existent God, becomes a man. It's a condescension that we will never fully comprehend. So I thought it would be really fun to take my guitar and trace my guitar all the way back to God. And I knew, of course, where I bought it. I know that Martin has a factory in Pennsylvania. I've actually toured their factory. It's really awesome. And uh, I did a little research and kind of discovered probably where they got the wood to make the top of the guitar. And then from there, I just kind of uh, uh, make the story up and um, I had a lot of fun doing it. And we trace the guitar then all the way back to God. Then we start moving forward again and we go to the creation of the world, the creation of Adam and Eve, the fall of Adam and Eve, and the first gospel promise in Genesis 3.15 that the descendant of Adam and Eve would come and defeat the serpent. I bought this guitar at a chain store in Rockford, Illinois. They ordered it from a factory out east in Pennsylvania. Bruce board from which they made the top came from a mill in Washington. This very piece of wood they milled from a log 16 feet thick. That log had come to them from the forests of Alaska, where a mighty tree was felled that once stood proud 300 feet tall. 
For five hundred years the tree had grown And it grew from a seed that fell from a cone That grew on a tree that grew from a seed That fell from a tree that grew from a seed That fell from a tree that grew from a seed That fell from a tree and on and on From a seed that Noah planted He planted that seed next to the ark on the mountain where it landed. That seed rode out the great flood in Father Noah's pocket. It had fallen to his feet sometime before when he was cutting timber. It broke his heart to cut it down. When it fell, it shook him sore. That tree was older far than he, older yet than Adam. It was numbered with the first ones that had sprung from the word of God. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. All things were made by him, and without him. God said, let us make man in our image. Let's give this world to them. So we put the man and woman in the garden and yet planted. But Eve believed the serpent's lie and Adam turned his back on God. So God cursed the snake. He said, I will put enmity between you. Between your seed and her seed, oh, he will crush your head. You will strike his heel, he will feel the sting of death, and he will rise. And soon the woman had a son. How she hoped in her heart that he would be the one. And so it went for age upon age, till Gabriel came to Mary. And said that holy child that will be born of you will be called the Son 